The spill stop is designed to work in conjunction with an air-operated diaphragm pump. Air-operated diaphragm pumps are very efficient operating equipment, but when a diaphragm fails, it usually fails with a small tear. That allows the liquid being pumped to be sucked through the diaphragm into the air chamber and then exhausted out the pump's air exhaust and into the environment. If the product is dangerous or hazardous, that can cause a problem. It can be damaging to people and the surroundings. Spill stop is designed to prevent that spill from occurring. It's a device that has a float inside, a regulator, three-way valve, and a normally closed valve that attaches to the pump's air inlet, compressed air inlet. Now, then a hose is run from the pump's exhaust into the spill stop. As long as the pump is running without a diaphragm failure, the spill stop is just a pneumatic muffler. To actuate and turn the pump on, we'll dial up about 50 PSI of air pressure on the regulator. This opens a normally closed valve and it lets compressed air reach the pump's air valve and turn the pump on. As I said before, as long as the diaphragms are intact, the air exhaust from the pump goes through the spill stop and it acts as a big muffler. This is pneumatically operated, which is an advantage over many types of leak detectors or spill stops, which either require electricity or a battery to operate. This just works off of compressed air. Now, I've set up a hose water line so that it will flow water into the pump's air exhaust and into the spill stop to simulate a diaphragm failure. When I put the water in, the, the spill stop will fill with liquid. The air will shift, the compressed air will shift this three-way valve and close the normally closed valve on the compressed air to the pump, which will turn the pump off. At the same time, we have an optional whistle that can be attached that will turn on and an alarm light. So now I'll introduce some water into the pump's air exhaust. You'll see it flowing into the spill stop. We'll raise the float. turns the pump off, notifies an operator that the pump is out of service, the standby pump could be on, come and fix me. <clears throat> when the pump is repaired, you drain the liquid out of the bottom of the spill stop into a proper container depending upon the liquid and the pump will automatically turn on and resume operation.